In football, being skillful enough or talented enough is not enough. You need to be very quick in your decision making. On top of that, the term creativity isn't just confined to a player's ability to pick out a pass that unlocks a stubborn defense. Creativity is also your ability to outthink your opponent and know exactly how to react to a particular situation. This is something we call a football IQ. Now, we're actually lucky that over the years, we've been able to see players whose footballing IQ is phenomenal. Football players are far more intelligent than they get credit for. Of course, they won't be solving any mathematical equation or help find life on Mars, but their split-second thinking is something even the brightest minds of human history would kill for. So let's dive right in and talk about some of the players who are as brainy as a nerd who used to do your homework in high school. Luka Modric We start off this list with Luka Modric. The Croatian legend is one of the most creative players in the game's history. If you ever watched him very closely, you'd see that Modric is a player who wears a lot of hats in games. He can be a defensive midfielder, a deep-lying playmaker, a number 10, and even a winger if needed. This versatility is what makes him one of the all-time greats. On top of that, Modric is a very intelligent viewer of the game and somehow always seems to find the right pass. Having so many weapons in your briefcase means that you're always spoiled for choice, but Modric knows exactly what weapon is needed for every situation. Not many players have that in them. David Silva To be honest guys, we think that throughout his career, Silva was one of the most underrated players in the game. The Spaniard has been nicknamed Merlin and El Majo for his ability to keep hold of the ball and place inch-perfect passes when needed. No matter how tight you mark him, Silva would always find a way to bamboozle you. That is because his first touch and spatial awareness was out of this world. During his Manchester City days, Silva used some sort of scanning device behind his eyes to trace a path for his teammates, which allowed him to play sumptuous passes that would leave the opposition violated. Or maybe his footballing IQ was just off the charts. Andres Iniesta Throughout his career, Iniesta made a mockery of some of the best defenders of all time by sailing past them as if they didn't exist. The legendary Spanish midfielder had some sort of power that allowed him to predict exactly what his opponent would do in the next moment, and always seemed to have an answer to everything. His ability to dribble past the very best reminds us of that Mind Palace thing that Sherlock Holmes does before a fight. Sorry, but we have no other way to explain such a high IQ move. Ronaldinho Ok, when it comes to the legendary Brazilian, you can't really say that he had a very high IQ in a general sense, because he could have achieved so much more, if only he could cut down on his partying lifestyle. But on the field, there was never a better trickster and an entertainer. There are thousands of videos where Ronaldinho showcased a footballing IQ that is rare to find these days. One of the best examples of this can be seen from some of the free kicks where he waited for the wall to jump before guiding the ball beneath the players to beat a goalkeeper's bottom corner. There's a reason why there's always a player lying down like Kate Winslet behind the wall, and that reason is the buck-toothed assassin from Brazil. We hope you're liking this content guys, stick around for a few more minutes because we're about to talk about one player who used his intelligence to truly embarrass a player who tried to embarrass him before a game. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified of all our upcoming content. Thierry Henry The legendary Frenchman was blessed with searing pace, close control and quick turning, but on top of that, he just knew what to do in a particular moment. Take for example his goal against Manchester United when he received a pass when his back was against the goal. Rather than pass the ball to a teammate or take a turn, he simply flicked the ball turned around and then fired a volley past Fabian Barthez. But right before that moment, Henri quickly scanned his surroundings to assess whether he could execute the move or not. Wow, now that's some really high IQ stuff. Eric Cantona When he was not kung fu kicking the sugar honey iced tea out of fans or fighting with teammates or making statements that no one could understand, Cantona was the galvanizing force behind Manchester United's rapid ascent to Premier League supremacy. The eccentric Frenchman is one of the all-time greats and his football IQ was second to none. The best example would be that iconic celebration after he lobbed the Sunderland goalkeeper. Cantona saw the Black Cats number one off his line. He had all the time in the world to make a run for it, but rather than letting go of a few calories, he decided to lob the ball beyond Lionel Perez, who was a former teammate. Rather than celebrating with his teammates, the footballer become philosopher just soaked in the moment in an iconic way. A few years later, Cantona said that he wanted to humiliate his former teammate because he was blanked by him before the game. 
Moral of the story, never mess with a footballer blessed with a higher than normal IQ. Bastian Schweinsteiger While his footballing career ended with a slight whimper, back in the day the German was one of the most intelligent players on the pitch. He was always three steps ahead of everyone. On top of that, his off-the-ball movement when it came to receiving the pass showed that he always knew what his opponent was thinking. Since his retirement, the German national team has struggled to unearth a player of a similar profile, which speaks volumes of his ability and intelligence on the pitch. Riquelme Juan Roman Riquelme was one of the smartest players around. Too bad that his career seemed like a fleeting moment because for one reason or another, he wasn't appreciated as much as his talent deserved. Nonetheless, the former Villarreal man was one of the most intelligent players of his era. He would know when to pass and when to dribble. Not only that, if you watch his games closely, you'd notice that Riquelme was very observant of his opponents when not in possession. That would allow him to have a compendium of decisions depending on who he was facing in a particular moment. How many players do that? Andrea Pirlo Over the years, we've seen the Italian national side bless us with some truly amazing players. One of those has to be Andrea Pirlo, who is one of the most creative players of all time. The former AC Milan and Juventus star was cut from a different cloth. He would always be in perfect position to find his teammates. His greatest IQ moment came at the 2012 European Championships, when Italy took on England. The game went into penalties, and then came Pirlo's turn. Before he took the kick, Joe Hart tried everything he could to wind him down, but Pirlo's expressions never changed. Rather than doing the safe thing, Pirlo went for a panenka and executed it to perfection, and in the process destroyed Hart's career. Hart has never been the same since then, just like the Sunderland goalkeeper who tried to embarrass Cantona. Lionel Messi Ok, so we don't really know whether it's IQ or that he's just from another planet, because things that Messi does on the pitch make no sense whatsoever. Or maybe he has a PhD in physics and is just very good at football because he uses aerodynamics, geometry and probability to perfection. Not just that, he sees a tackle when it's coming. Don't trust our word? Ask George Boateng, who fell on his bum once while trying to stop Messi. No shame in that whatsoever. But there is one player whose IQ was even better, but in a rather devious way. Diego Maradona One of the greatest players of all time, Maradona showed that football is more than just a game. It is a pure, unadulterated passion, and the Argentine was just too damn good at it. Words can never be enough to describe how important the late Argentine was to football. He walks a fine line between right and wrong. But then again, for someone who was a born winner, he would do anything to get that W. Take for example the infamous Hand of God moment. Till his last days, Maradona claimed divine intervention for the moment that made the English cry for decades. However, it was simply him using his IQ in a very devious way. Maradona observed that the referee was blindsided, so decided to use his hand to divert the ball into the net. While a lot of you would call it unfair, we would simply say that this was a moment of true genius. No one can think of something like this in a heartbeat, but then again, no one is or can ever be Maradona. So guys, that's it for today. We hope you liked what you saw. Let us know about your favorite high IQ moments in football. And before you go, have a look at some of these videos. Till next time. <laughs>